The next directive is parameters directive. This parameters directive provides a list of parameters that a user can provide while triggering the pipeline. So there are various types of parameters that we can specify in a pipeline and these parameters are for example string, a text field or a boolean parameter, choice parameter, a password etc. So now let us see these parameters using a freestyle job first and then we'll jump on to pipeline. So I'm creating a freestyle job here and here just after the description you will see a checkbox which says that this build is or this project is parameterized just check on that and then you will be having option to add the parameters of various types so you see boolean choice credentials file so we have all these parameters and let us try to add a very simple one maybe the string one first you see three options are here the name of that parameter default value and description right so the name is mandatory so let us give the name here of the parameter let's say i am putting the name f name which is the first name and i am giving the default value of kamal and i am not putting anything in the description for now i have added one parameter here in this freestyle job now let us move forward and add a simple batch step in the build steps so i am printing that parameter name using echo f name and that f name i'll be surrounding with dollars because i am using this as a bat step so i am building it here now you see instead of build we are seeing the option build with parameters and when i click on it it is asking me for that string parameter so that is how the parameter build behaves and it asks for the parameters first and then only it allow you to move further so we can see here uh, in the blue ocean view here the output is printed as Kamal because we have not changed the value and it has printed the default value. Now let us try to use these parameters in the pipeline script. So again we start with the default skeleton where we have agent any and stages as stage 1. So I am adding a parameters block just after agent like I was adding options and other things. So here in the parameters I specify the parameter as string and then in brackets i need to pass all those three things that i was mentioning for the pre freestyle job so the first was the name of the parameter so i give name here and then colon and then i need to give the name of the parameter in single quotes or double quotes so i am specifying f name and then the second uh, one which is default value so i am giving the default value as kamal and then description i am leaving as blank all right so this is how i configured the first parameter in this pipeline now let us use this parameter in the stage to use the parameters in the pipeline you need to use the params object so you can use dollar and then here in brackets you can use params dot the variable name or the parameter name f name all right now let us move here to this pipeline script and copy paste here and try to take a run so we are seeing here the build has failed let us see what we have done wrong so we can see here something wrong at echo step we actually forgot to add the double quotes here so let me quickly make those changes here so I am surrounding this echo message uh, with double quotes and then I am again saving it and running it so if we check the output now we see here it has printed the value correctly now let us see one more type of parameter so let us add a choice parameter over there all right so like we have given the string we can give the choice parameter now this choice parameter will allow you to select from the drop down when you will be building the pipeline so for the choice parameter we need to give the name like we have given for the string so let's say we want to give a drop down for city so name is city and here instead of default value choice parameter will be having choices so that user can see a list of choices and then he will be able to select from that list so here i am giving choices as one two and three in the drop down and then a comma i am giving description as blank all right so that this is how we have configured the choices parameter now let us try to print this choices also so i am using echo and then params dot city like i was printing that params dot first name 
Now I am copying it from here and again we are going to try it out in the pipeline script. So you see on the first attempt it is only showing me the string parameter. The reason is that it has not yet loaded that updated Jenkins file. But when I will be trying to run it for the second time, it will be showing me the parameters here. So remember that for the first run, if you do not see the parameters popped up correctly, so that is absolutely fine. Just take the second run and it will start appearing over there. So here now you can see the output. It has printed the first name and the city that we have selected from the dropdown. I hope the concept of parameters is now clear to you. I will see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.